Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this game connection problem that is error code is N14. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to check for any kind of outage on Warhammer website. So you can check if there is any kind of outage, then you have to wait. If there is no outage, you can follow the next step. Make sure date, time, time zone, and reason are correct on your computer. So at the bottom right over here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Now click on adjust date and time. And then over here, you can see set time zone automatically. If this is off, turn it on. Also set time automatically. If this is off, turn it on. Make sure both are on over here. And once this is on, then you have to click on sync now. Here you can see sync now option. So click on sync now. Sync now is important over here. If you receive any kind of error, uh, when you click on sync now in red color, just click on sync now multiple times. And once the sync is done, go back to time and language and then go to language and region and make sure your country is selected over here. And then you can relaunch the game. After each step, make sure that you relaunch the game and then check. Next step is to disable or enable crossplay. So launch the game. Now, once you launch the game, you can go to the game and then go to settings and then go to game option over here. Scroll down at the bottom. You will see crossplay option. If this is on, you can turn this off and then you can check if this is already on. You can if this is already off, you can turn on and then check. So try both on and off and check. For many users, turning off crossplay has worked, so you can try this. Now, the next step is to use VPN. So this has worked for many uh, players, so it might work for you. So you can install any free VPN, and then you can turn on the VPN, and then check. If you're already using VPN, then turn it off, and then check. Check which one is working fine for you. Next step is to power cycle. To perform power cycle, shut down your computer first. And then unplug the power cable from the computer. Turn off your Wi-Fi router, wait for a few seconds and then restart your Wi-Fi router. Connect the power cable back to the computer and then restart your computer and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to switch to different network. So if you have any other network available over here, uh, you can switch to different network and then you can check. If that does not work, you can even use mobile hotspot. So you can turn on the data on the phone, turn on the hotspot on your phone. Now turn on the data on the phone and then turn on the personal hotspot. Now you can go to the Wi-Fi and then you will see your uh, phone network. So you can connect to your phone network and then you can check. Once it is connected, you can relaunch the game and then check. Yeah. Now still not working. Uh, the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, go to Windows settings, go to privacy and security. Now click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it, click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow, click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. Go to the game installation folder and open the game folder. So in my case, this is the location and then select this exe file. Click on open again. Click on add an allowed app browser labs. Select this start protected game for, uh, file. Add it again. Click on browser labs and then open easy anti cheat. Select this file and then open. Do the same thing in control panel. So open control panel. Go to system and security windows defender firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Change settings, allow another app, click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder. Open the game folder, select the game exe file, all the exe file and then click on add. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse and then select the second exe file, open, add. In my case, it is already added. Again, click on allow another app, browse, open, easy, anti-cheat. Select this setup file, open, add. Now, once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. Click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now copy the first command. Paste it over here. Hit the enter key. 
now run the second command so all run all the commands one by one Now, once you run all the command, now restart you can be able. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to try Google DNS server. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, go to network and internet, go to network sharing and center, and now click on your Wi-Fi. Let me connect to my Wi-Fi, not the hotspot. and then click on your internet over here and then go to properties click on properties over here and then scroll down here you can see internet protocol version 4 tcp ipv4 select this one select ipv4 and then you have to click on properties and over here select the option which says use the following dns server addresses for preferred dns server uh, type in over here 8 Eight, 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 and for alternate DNS server, type in eight, eight, four, four, and then click on validate settings upon exit, and then click on OK. Close this. Close this. Now relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Next step is to uncheck IPv6. You can check it once you're done playing the game. Now for this, you can go to control panel once again, uh, go to the same location, click on your Wi-Fi. Once you click on your internet, now click on properties. And this time scroll down and over here you can see internet protocol version 6 TCP IPv6. You can uncheck this box, click on OK. And then you, uh, let me, yeah. Uncheck here. Yeah, we have unchecked internet protocol version 6 and then click on OK, launch the game and then check. Once you are done playing the game, you can always you can enable. Once you're done playing the game, you can put a check on internet protocol version 6 and then click on OK and then check. Still not working. The next step is to use Ethernet connection. So if your computer has an Ethernet port and if you have an Ethernet cable, you can use the wired connection and then you can launch the game. Next step is to run the game as an administrator. For this, make a right click on the game, select properties, uh, select manage, then go to browse local files. Now over here you can see the game exe file, make a right click on the game exe file, click on run as administrator and then check. You can even use this start protected game exe file, make a right click, click on run as administrator and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to verify the game files. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrated game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. The last step is to update your windows to the latest version. So open windows settings, go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.